good afternoon. Um, and welcome to the ceremony. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Tandabandu Ntlaapo. Uh, I am one of the deputy vice chancellors at the University of Cape Town. And we usually take this time just before the ceremony starts to have a chat with you uh, invariably about the program, what's going to be happening, what its significance might be, and uh, what, to, what to do at various points in the program. Um, this year and this December diet of graduations necessitates a bit of a change from that program because, of course, um, our thoughts are very much on the passing on of Nelson Kholishasa Mandela. And so we have been asked in this informal chat before the ceremony actually starts to announce, to notify you as our guests and as the audience that all of the graduation ceremonies in this December Diet at UCT have been dedicated to the memory of uh, Nelson Mandela. Um, for that reason, I will read a little piece here. But of course, there is still the other part of this informal chat, and that is to to underline the fact that graduation at UCT is a joyous affair. We wish you not to feel inhibited in celebrating it as such, as a joyous affair. It marks the end of a long period of hard work on the part of uh, the graduates, but also on the part of their staff. And so, and on the part of friends, family, supporters. And so please, it is a joyous occasion. We are feeling a bit subdued because of the mood in the country in general in respect of Utata Nelson Mandela. Um, but we nevertheless think there is a link that can be made between the example he gave us with his life and how he lived it and the production of new young citizens coming into the world with qualifications in order to make a mark. What I thought I might read then in uh, that context goes something like this. What does it mean for an institution to dedicate a program of graduations to the memory of Nelson Mandela? I'm sure that each one of us will have, will have his or her own and different answer to this question. And so it should be, because Nelson Kholishasa Mandela himself meant many things to many people. To put this another way, he was like a great and ancient baobab tree, at which point I will pause while we sit Professor Gunen, one of our honorary graduates for today. Thank you. We were at the point where we were saying Nelson Mandela was like a great and ancient baobab tree, giving shade to everyone who sat beneath it, whatever their reasons were for being on that particular path and on that particular journey and on that particular day. 
from a very personal perspective, my view of the significance of dedication of these ceremonies to Mandela's memory, to his life, to his legacy, is that it is to encourage us to ask ourselves in the same way that Barack Obama posed the question at the memorial a few days ago, what it is that we can find within ourselves to be better human beings in any of the many and varied ways that Nelson Mandela was simply and essentially a good person. It is this ability to be a fountain of goodness that sets him apart from many leaders, even revered ones. And it is because this light of goodness shown in many directions and at many levels that each of us can find an answer to the question, what can I personally take from Madiba's example truly to contribute to making this a better world? Whether you pick his determination or his strength of character or his humility or his loyalty or his compassion or his fortitude or his warmth, it is for each and every one of us to reflect on that which strikes a chord with our good side. And so for the rest of the week, as we send our graduates out into the world, we cherish the hope that in 2013, we send them out with a palpable reason and a palpable incentive for seeking to go out and do good. That reason is Nelson Holihlahla Mandela. May he rest in peace. We are now going to ask you, um, just before the procession comes in, to stand up uh, for a, what is it called a break to is the cramped muscles, because um, we will then sit down again uh, so that the procession can come in. So if you feel like standing up and stretching, uh, please, this is the time to do it. While we're doing this, I should let you know that um, the procession will enter the hall to the classical um, anthem, of course, Gaudiamus, um, that the vice chancellor will constitute the congregation, and that with a, in a break with tradition, there will be a lament sung by one of our uh, music students, and that this afternoon, the national anthem will also be sung in honor of and in memory of uh, Nelson Mandela. And when the SRC make their dedication, they will also be doing it in the name of Nelson Mandela. And then after that, the uh, congregation will proceed as normal. Um, please, you may sit. Thank you very much. We shall then have occasion to stand only at the point at which the anthem starts and the congregation, uh, the procession enters the hall. Thank you very much.
by the authority conferred on me as Vice-Chancellor, I constitute this assembly a congregation of the University of Cape Town. Thank you. The national anthem.
please remain standing for the dedication. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to invite Ms. Emma Self, a nominee of the Students' Representative Council, to read the university dedication. We dedicate this graduation in the memory of our former president, Nelson Mandela. At this time of national reflection, following the death of the father of the nation, Nelson Mandela, and the celebration of his life, we, the members of the University of Cape Town, reaffirm our mission to nurture rational and creative thought and free inquiry, to strive for excellence in teaching and research, to educate for life, and to address the challenges of our society. We undertake to, to advance these ideals in a spirit of freedom and responsibility and through consultation and debate. We celebrate our founders, benefactors, and predecessors, those who have built the fabric and nourished the values of UCT and dedicate the celebration to continuing the work of our former president. To those of you who will graduate today, we wish courage, wisdom, and purpose. To those who will leave the university to learn and work elsewhere, may you be sustained by those values which unite us here today and advance them in the world beyond. A love of truth and of learning and of this, our university. Please be seated. Thank you very much. Um, before I introduce the musicians, let us take a step back to the lament, a, uh, a new introduction to the program because of uh, the, the things we spoke about at the beginning. This is uh, what women sing um, in um, the traditional areas when an elder person 
passes away in the house. Before telling anyone else at all that an elder has passed away, the neighbors will first hear the voice of the women and then they will know that there is something amiss. And now to the uh, people who together have uh, given us a musical inter inter interlude, starting from the um, processional hymn, Gaudiamus, and the national anthem, which were performed by singers from the South African College of Music. Perhaps I should say South African College of Music at UCT. They were accompanied on the organ by Eric Dipenar. The lament, Vugani Nobanilele, which means wake up even if you're asleep, was sung by Zinzi Nokavu. And the musical item, La Donna Mobile, by Giuseppe Verdi, was performed by tenors, Makudubanyane Snawane, and Levi Sehapan. They are both graduating on Tuesday. They were accompanied on piano by Francois Porter. Thank you. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present for the award of the degree of Doctor of Literature, Honoris Causa, Daniel Pule Koneni. Maribile a p ke b. Maribile a t ke d. Maribile a k ke g. This is the chant of the preschool Daniel Pule Koneni. He is sitting on the floor of the cooking area of his home, the house he grew up in, whilst his mother is doing household chores. He remembers, I'm watching a sunbeam from a hole in the tin roof, slowly moving across the floor, flickering at the edges, little tiny leaps, continually changing shape and ultimately dying as the sun sweeps across the roof and leaves the hole in the dark, so to speak, until tomorrow. He hears himself chanting absent-mindedly. Somehow, with the movement of the sun and the mantra of the consonants, he had discovered the music of Sasutu, his mother tongue. P -ke -b. He was already fascinated by how his parents could take a language and make it the vehicle of a narrative, by how the sounds could be molded into spoken music, and how the music could become intriguing and exciting stories. Many years later, this interest in sounds and languages became the focus of his PhD thesis at the University of Cape Town, and in fact, the focus of his life's work. Kuneni was born in Edenville, near Kronstadt, and completed his BA through UNISA in 1949. This was followed by an MA, a secondary teacher's certificate, and a PhD, all from UCT. 
Koneni is currently a professor emeritus at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, but he's also taught at the University of California, Los Angeles, the University of London, the Johannes Gutenberg University, and at UCT. His literary contributions include poetry, short stories, monographs, and translations. His poem, Soweto, was set to music for choir and orchestra, and his translations have won wide acclaim, including the Karl Kapek Medal for translations from languages of limited diffusion. So here's the problem. In the written tradition, a story must be a novel, and a poem must have rhyming lines and syllabic meter. But how do you translate oral material received through the ear into written form, which is received through the eye? The live participating critical audience disappears. The voice, the mimetic gesture, the facial expressions, the dramatic action are gone. In the written tradition, the writer works in isolation with an audience that has dwindled to a single reader. But the oral storyteller who tells on paper must find a way to introduce the audience back into the story, must find a place for the communal voices, for the anonymous gossipers, for the running moral commentary, and for the storyteller to enter and exit at will. So what is required is a new approach one that allows us to hear the sound that is silenced by the page, one that is poetic and polyphonic, and one that takes us back into the communal fold and that captures the spiritual glow of shared stories. Daniel Pule Koneni has done just that. Not only has he succeeded in describing, analyzing, and categorizing poetic rhetoric, but his new analytical approach has generated a methodology and thus has vital implications for the study of other oral traditions. In the literary landscape, he is a courageous dew dryer, an avid pioneer finding the new path and risking the hidden dangers of unexplored terrain. From Maribile Ap Kebbe, Maribile At. Maribile Ak Keg to epic linguist, acclaimed writer, and renowned scholar. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to invite you to admit the degree of Doctor of Literature, Honoris Causa, Daniel Pule Koneni. We now move to the part of the ceremony where we confer the degrees on the young graduates. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I admit to the degrees specified those candidates who are listed in the program but recorded as being in absentia. I shall now admit to the degrees specified the candidates who will be presented to me by the Dean of Humanities. Vice Chancellor, I have the honor to present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Social Science, Yazra Arbid.
with distinction in philosophy and politics, and Celia Ariel Adams. <laughs> Layla Adams. Simon Adler. <laughs> Lara Jessica Alexander. With distinction in economics and politics, and the degree with distinction, Markela Sarah Allen. <laughs> Melissa Ma Maria Alwa. With distinction in sociology, Christopher Michael Anderson. <laughs> Kirsten Chelsea Aronser. <laughs> Paris Ramon Asimikopoulos. Tara Lee Atkinson. Charmaine Ono Yemi Ola Tokondo Owalalja. Mustafa Babu. Mohini Bejnath. Sive Sikalela Bali. Imran Bandekar. Nolu Balo, Margaret Bebeza. <laughs> Apendiwe Bikizwa. Marjorie Sabaju Belem. <laughs> Genevieve Jewel Berold. <laughs> Selma Baba. Sharonese Felice Birch. <laughs> Ntombi Zodwa Biela. <laughs> M 
Mpumzi Bobo. Abiose Bokari. Christina Cherie Roma Boerta. With distinction in psychology, Holly Jade Bradley. Darren Ackerman Brookbanks. Amy Renee Bunce. <clears throat> Tainisha Lamise Bunsey. <clears throat> Jessica Ashley Byrne. Bali in Essentia Butelezi. <clears throat> With distinction in gender studies, Carolyn Louise Byrne. <clears throat> Lila Gabrielle Byrne. Jade Louise Kellmeyer. <clears throat> Dylan Matthew Campbell. <clears throat> Philippa Hi Philippa Heather Campbell. <clears throat> Lauren Carver. <clears throat> Nonfeba Andile Kele. Tefo Plamelo Chalashika <clears throat> Hugh Kumbarai Chanetza Distinction in Sociology and Cosa Communication and the Degree with Distinction, Pablo Abril Chauke. <laughs> Jaina Chamta. Munashe Tazorozwa Shadia. Tabesili Nongkululeko Chili. <laughs> 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 
Chatenda and Chimwanda. Kudzanai Chameri. Taryn Joy Chitta. Mutsagiri Vimbai Kugwe Chivora. Jessica Ann Christie. Chuma <laughs> Danielle Chuvali <laughs> Nazim Clark. Dilo Kelwa, Gertrude Kutsia. <laughs> Tuna Kalainasho Kutsia. Anika Noel Covington. <laughs> Michelle Craig. <laughs> Louise Marcel Crouch. Cameron Frederick Seister. <laughs> Dina Adil Mohammed Darbo. Munyaradzi Marco Tatenda Daya. <laughs> Tandiwe Davids. <laughs> Ian Henry Davis. Muniba Dawson. Claire Luella Denham Dyson. With distinction in psychology and Spanish, and the degree with distinction, Nicole de Villiers. <laughs> Jessica Jane Dewhurst.
Ongiwe Precious Globela. Olani Edward Gludla. With, with, distinction, with distinction in psychology and Spanish and the degree with distinction, Nicholas James Dowdle. Dominique Alyssa Dryding. <laughs> With distinction in sociology, Fiona Simakutle Diorsi. Linda Charlotte DeWilly. <laughs> Rain Diane Alicia Eaton. <laughs> Rushni Fozia Ibrahim. Francesca L. McQuay. <laughs> Julie Caitlin Farrell. <laughs> Amber Mary Farron Coton. With distinction in gender studies, Nicole Nina Ferreira. <laughs> Danielle Emma Flavel. <laughs> Stuart David Flint. Robert Berkey Ford. <laughs> Victoria Alexandra Frere. <laughs> Chido Trisha Howe. Adila Hassan. Kelsey Gould. Crystal May Gaber. Anele Bongani Tsemene. <laughs> Lauren Gerai. <laughs> Gaby Goldberg.
Jenna Goldberg. Shedza Thelma Gonyora. Leila Gool. Bianca Goot. Hamisha Gopal. Sarah Louise Gordon. Sinead Eileen Gordon. With distinction in English language and literature, philosophy and psychology, and the degree with distinction, Amy Rebecca Gorbin. <laughs> Shanita Gounden. Dina Govinda. <laughs> Danielle Razel Greed. <laughs> Sheridan Thomas Frobler. Tapiwa Lovemore Guanzura. <laughs> Akona Dulue. Vice Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Tamarin Louise Hall. <laughs> Lucia Ray Hammond. Ezetu Hassane. Raisa Hassa. Megan Stephanie Hector. Laura Heldsinger. <laughs> Dominique Louise Hendricks.
Ilknoor Hendricks. Kirsten Janine Henry. Nangamso Patlana. Zinati Tokomila. Sinead Ellen Rebecca Holmes. <laughs> Jessica Haller. <laughs> Jessica Julia Howes. Vita Grace Wenjere. <laughs> Nazima Isaacs. <laughs> Zara Isaacs. Raiza Ishmael. <laughs> Rania Ishmael. <laughs> Safia Ishmael Valley. Victoria Sean Jackson. Dora Doncicalelo Jacobs. Stacy Danielle Jacobs. Tasneem Jacobs. <laughs> Melissa Rumbidzai Jakatira. Gabrielle Eva Teal James. <laughs> Kayla Janssen van Rensburg. Robert Michael Jennings. Merishka John. Megan Storm Johnson.
Sipasile Musaquencosi Giorgio. Ross William Jones Davies. Sheldon Euster. Daniela Juncker. Zara Julius. Lida Wiener Jung. Lillian Tafadzwa Chakere. Catherine Kinyanjui Karanja. Christine Morocco Kariuki. Erin Star Katzoff. Sakwaza Solomon Kazadi. Chantelle Laura Keane. Claudia Latrobe Geiger Kelly. Simon John Kennedy. With distinction in economic history, Leila Khan. <laughs> Priscilla Karaj. <laughs> Shepo Koetsa. Prudence Nomtandazo Kumalo. <laughs> Nirma Miriam Kiwelo. Michelle Victoria King. Wangesi Kinuthia. Johan Olifitz Knapp. <laughs> Rene Kotza.
Kendall Terry Crowbar. Olivia Francis Croc. Rafaela Tanya Labate. Nicola Patricia Landau. Mika Lavita. Jessica Mallory Lee. <laughs> Seo Young Jenny Lee. Oh. Kim, sorry, Kim Michelle Lee. Kim Michelle Lee. Yoliswa Lelu. Jenna Lee Leonard. Marco LaRue. <laughs> Rowan Jacques Le Vieux. <laughs> Audrey Luat. With distinction in gender studies and the degree with distinction, Jan Louise Victoria Lewin. <laughs> Natasha Liesner. <laughs> Alexander Linda. Lauren Logue. Malin Luff. Lauren Deborah Lowe. David Loy Lutron. <laughs> Ntombi Zodwa Hilda Mabaso. <laughs> Kwena Mabia. Ayaka Buchlebmak. <laughs> Vu 
Mani Panagiotis Panog Madonko. Tembika Charlene McClungle. Puranisa Muhammad. Tulani Mikhail Maluleke. Dalitso Harriet Maluza. Mafaro Manuel Mangesi. Leslie Catherine Manning. Robert Neil Manning. With distinction in gender studies, Nduduzi Clarence Mapanga. Pamela Maposa. <laughs> Kylie Eve Murray. <laughs> Robin Kyla Martin. Tuzo Vincent Maseko. Andrew Matlu. Jordan Blair Mays. Unati Untokozo Umbele. Benita Nkala Mbolela. Cynthia Nkalula Mbolela. Caleb McKellar. Danica Dene McKenzie. Unkadiwa Mundluwa. Nicole Melamed. <laughs> Benjamin David Mendelssohn. <laughs> Wendy.
Juanita Tandizwa Mafaketo. Benati Sipasizwe Unkonjongo. Sinantlanchla Mutlongo. Mitchell Sean Miller. Solomon Milner. Nolene Barbara Nkombeza. Fefe Nitsana. Sibonisile Prudence in Cuba. Sipokazi no Kwanda Loxolo Nguni. Ntabalang Criselda Moeti. Cosinati Percy Mokwena. <laughs> Paul Malome Molani. <laughs> Katerina Sara Montero. Natasha Moodley. <laughs> Maxine Deirdre Moodley. Loko Maatla Mukaneng. With distinction in drama and social anthropology and the degree with distinction, Anna Karina Manithas de Marais. Kenelwe Julia Morifi Winslow. <laughs> Baatile Tato Napakanyane. <laughs> Mitchell Sibongisene Mpike. Tandiwe Mpofu. Sindizwa Hazel Mandy Msomi.
Baba Kila Eugenia Mtabela. Caesar Sharon Mutwa. Vimbai Mubako. Florence Tapiwa Mucheri. Tendai Mudzamba. Lauren Muller. Amira Shalima Murat Amir. With distinction in industrial sociology, Fadzai Muramba. <laughs> Caitlin Alice Turner Murphy. Shamiso Muzarurwa. <laughs> Rutendo Harriet Mutukwa. <laughs> Takudwanashe Basira Mutumbula. Chido Batsirai Kazir Muzondo. Gudakwashe <laughs> Simon Mvere. Chris Lutando Mukosona. Where to Mkhole? Nikita Tishna Naidu. Pumlila Faith. Nayana <laughs> Lerato Glenda Nokwane <laughs> Kukanya Tai Nkube. Nankhla Nkube. <laughs> Janet Nora Ntadoya. <laughs> 
si persile no lo nuovo in dimba. Lindy where Patricia and Glovo. Kobila and Lovu. Mandisi and Zombane. Duran Nell. Jonathan Leighton Nell. <laughs> Mudzunga Gina Nelueni. <laughs> Mpo Nechongolwe. Zukizwa Grace and Gema. <laughs> Filia Ladila Matlasa Noaje. <laughs> Siasanga Shireen Lingi. Tracy Njapa. Farai Munashe in Como. Slindo Kule, Pride, Zama and Kosi. Quebe Elizabeth Nkwebe. Fazile Abongile Nkiwa. Tawanda Shepherd Niabanga. With distinction in philosophy and politics and the degree with distinction, Anya Nkwenti Nyanjo. <laughs> with distinction in history, Rihanna Tembeka Udendal. Casey Brian O'Donnell. Yeah. Elaine Oluwatch. <laughs> Daniela Osato.
Leila Osato. <laughs> Jessica Tandy Owens. <laughs> Philip Owira. Stephanie Paisi. <laughs> Paul Patchy. <laughs> Jackie Lorraine Payton. Sarah Lee Petty. With distinction in gender studies, Simone Maxine Peters. Lauren Tracy Pinar. Akila Pillay. Verushka Pillay. Tahila Lafote Pimantel. Lindsay Ann Pitt. <laughs> Christiana Polidoru. <laughs> Luke Potier. Jessica Powery. Ashraf Price. Joanne Prinsluer. Pabalo Nana Pule. Vice Chancellor, I have the honour to present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Social Science, Senazo Azola Thina. <laughs> Tamson Louise Kwali. Kumza Kwezilomso Kwakwa. <laughs> Naledi Bianca Raba. Raba. <laughs> 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 
Julian Keegan Renshaw. Mpo Happiness Rapakwana. Rizkak Rawut. Nandi Clara Reina. Shani Roda. Jenna Lee Rod. Kirk Reuters. Kafa Sambo. Ruvarashi Kudzai Samkange. Danyal Samsudin. Sally Denise Santana. Tasneem Saeed. Stella Scalabrino. With distinction in linguistics, Lori Ann Scarborough. Wade Vincent Skoltz. Kai Torsten Schramm. Matthew Alexander Schultz. <laughs> Modique Abel Cebola. <laughs> Neo Chit Chit Chitwabo. Jessica Jane Siegel. Christopher Anthony Sellier. Farron September. Michelle Gwendolyn Sharp. <laughs> Jane Basel Sheol.
Janet Faisal Shiro. Mwinji Nakamba Siame. Angeline Nyarazo Hokwe Sibanda. by Nashi Ethel Sabanda. Wimbiso Edina Simbi. Pastma <laughs> Jade Sindon. Samantha Sinikiwe Satole. <laughs> Tabang Satole. <laughs> Busisipo Ayaka Siobe. Smith. Matthew James Timothy Lindsay Snelling. Nicole Janet Soames. Luntu Ninawe Sakutu. <laughs> With distinction in gender studies and Kosa communication, Astrid Southgate. Stefani <laughs> Chase Peter Stewart Sarah Elizabeth Rose Stewart Sellers Strauss <laughs> Susan Ann Swingler <laughs> Yo 
Yonela Cynthia Tabani. Yanni Taketa. Kimberly Fenton Tessendorf. Courtney Jade Thatcher. With distinction in Arabic language and literature, Zainab Thawa. <laughs> in Polisi, Suvisiso Tobela. Jessica Lauren Timlin. <laughs> with distinction in history and international relations and a degree with distinction, Caitlin Tonkin. Pearl Gugu Cheshla. Samson and Dumiso Chuma. <laughs> Fergus Ewan Turner. <laughs> Ashley Faye Twaddle. Ndayola Namutenga Ulenga. <laughs> Savish Yunus. With distinction in organizational psychology and the degree with distinction, Megan Elizabeth Upshur. <laughs> Steven van den Heerwe. Nadia van der Merwe. <laughs> Audrey Duin Eshton van der Westhuizen. Jenny Ann van Duisburg. <laughs> Kirsty van Skalkweg. <laughs> With 
Distinction in Film and Television Studies, Georgina Lucinda Bruce Venner. Christopher Fuster Cohen. With distinction in organizational psychology, psychology and social anthropology, and the degree with distinction, Paola Gabriela Vigletti. Tembra Vumazonke. <laughs> Balakrishna Brindavan Gias. <laughs> Vivian Pauline Bible. Stephanie Walto. <laughs> Jaden Taylor Webb. <laughs> Amy Nicolette Weber. Judith Weiss. <laughs> Farouz West. <laughs> Matthew Neil White. Justine Whedon. <laughs> Tammy Vanessa Wilkes. <laughs> Kate Colleen Wills. Matthew Rory Witten. <laughs> Michaela Falk. <laughs> Killian Tracy Wallater. Distinction in Social Development, Alexandra Wood. <laughs> Kelsey Madeline Wood. <laughs> Kelly Ann Wykerd. Hussein Iqbal Zavery. Boliswa 
Sibongili Sokufa. Hilary Don Zuse. Aidan Nicole Swartz. Tamara Zayambo. Ladies and gentlemen, let's start by giving all the graduates a huge round of applause. We've been very honored to be able to acknowledge the lifelong contribution of Professor Kuneni, and I want to add my congratulations to him for the honorary doctorate. And to say to you that as you graduate, many of you for the first time from the University of Cape Town, you join a special community, the Convocation, consisting of some 100,000 people in South Africa and around the world that provide continuity from the past and the history and traditions of the university to the future. One of the things Convocation does is to elect the Chancellor of the university. And I hope you know that the Chancellor is Mrs. Grasse Marshall, and she would uh, usually preside over the graduation, but for obvious reasons she can't do that this week. But we send her our condolences from all of you, from the graduates and from all of the staff. The Convocation also elects members to the Council of the University, participates in elections, and we get opinions from you, we send you newsletters, but we need you to keep us informed. As you move around the world, please keep, us, uh, keep up to date your uh, email addresses on the, alumni news, on the alumni page so that we can get hold of you and we can contact you and tell you what we're doing. You carry with you out into the world our reputation. We are judged by the way you perform and how you behave. And more than anything else, it will be on the values that you espouse, the values that we have tried to inculcate during your period at UCT include those of a commitment to social justice, a concern with equity, concern with those less fortunate than ourselves, we who have had this very privileged opportunity of tertiary education at a world-class university. And I urge you to fulfill that promise that is before you of making an impact on the world, changing the world for the better. I'm sure you will want to thank your families who have provided you with emotional and emotional support, financial support, psychological support, been there for you throughout the years. So I invite you to take your scrolls and make eye contact with your families in the audience, stand up and make contact with them and wave your scrolls and shout your appreciation to them.
And you would also not have got to the place you are today without the support of your lecturers and academics, some of them on the stage, and the whole support infrastructure of the university, the people who are often behind the scenes but making sure that the university works, including the registrar's office which organizes this graduation and, the, um, and, and everything around it. So can I ask you to show your appreciation to the university staff and faculty? It's time to celebrate. Have a wonderful evening, afternoon, and all the best for your future. Thank you, Vice Chancellor. That brings us to the end of the formal part of the afternoon, and uh, I just have a few announcements uh, to make. Um, first, the congregation is requested uh, to stand for the procession to go down and to remain standing until the platform party has left uh, the hall. And you are warmly invited thereafter, after following the platform party down the steps to the plaza, to turn right after the photographs have been taken and the networking has been done, uh, where there are refreshments uh, prepared uh, for you. We are warmly welcome uh, to do that. The graduates uh, are asked to uh, join uh, the procession as soon as it passes. Please join behind the platform party. Now the vice chancellor is going to dissolve the congregation and I would ask you all please to stand. By the authority conferred on me as vice chancellor, I now dissolve this congregation of the University of Cape Town. <laughs>